Welcome back to another Game Maker How to Put a timer in your game that counts down so the player is maybe limited to say 30 seconds to perform a task. Of course you can make this timer also count up if you want and say hey you've taken a minute too long level over. So here's what I've done with the timer. I've got a little bit of it set up. I have a timer object no sprite needed just sitting there called O timer and let's go see what I've put inside the O timer object. So first of all, in the create, I have two variables here. My time, six seconds. And show time equals my time. Uh, this will be used for later. You know what? I can take this out right now. We'll just leave it at my time. So you'll see here this timer keeps track with an instance variable of how long is left in the game. In the draw event, I change to a neat font change to color white and I draw the time left with our little draw text command and I draw the my time variable out now of course your goal is to make this variable count down the best way to do this is in the step event every step right it's happening maybe 30 times 60 times a second depending on your game settings we're gonna make the game time drop down now of course you're gonna ask us well how much do I make the time go down by do I make it go down by one? Well, no, you're not dropping one second every step. You're dropping a lot less. So some of you might say, well, I know I'm dropping one thirtieth of a step because I do 30 steps a second. But the problem with that is, is that the 30 steps a second, that's just supposed to be a ballpark. It's not the exact time. So to get the exact time, GameMaker has something called delta time. So that's a built-in variable and every single step of the game, delta time is updated to let you know how many millionths of a second have passed. So that's why I'm doing this. If I just did this, even a tiny amount of time that passes, this delta time, it's still a big number. It's millionths of a second. So that's why I divide by six zeros, right? I divide by a million. That is how many seconds has passed since the last step. And so this will effectively reduce, whoa, that'll effectively reduce my time by the actual time amount that's passed in the game. Let's see this one working here. And uh, then it just keeps drawing it out. Now remember, I did put that in the room. And there's the time ticking down. And yeah, it does go under zero. I'll show you how to take care of that in a bit but it works pretty well. Now, two little tricks you might want to do. One reason I had originally, in the create method, also added a variable called show time. This is going to be the time that I show. Now I can just set it equal to my time, right? So if it's set to six here, show time will also be six. But more importantly, what I'm going to do here in the step method, is right after I calculate the exact value for my time, I'm going to say show time equals the ceiling of my time. This is a math rounding function that rounds the number up to the nearest integer. So for example, if the time was 5.62, this is going to round it up. I even forgot what I just said. If the number was 5.62, it's going to round it up and just say 6. So it's actually not going to show 5 until it actually hits just below 5 or 5 exactly. So it's called ceiling. Okay, so it's a nice method for this. And when I actually draw my time out, instead of drawing my time, I'm going to draw show time. So let's see what this does. You'll see now it's just nice whole number. Some people don't want the decimals happening. Now this still goes to negatives. So we'd like to stop that, right? So let's take care of that. In the step command, one really quick way to do it is just to put a little if statement here. And 
And we can just ask a question here. We can say, uh, if my time is greater than zero, then we can take a little bit of time off the variable. Else, my time is zero, exactly zero. I don't want weird number like a negative 0.25 showing up on the screen. So bottom line, if you're not greater than zero, I'm just setting you to zero. Okay, and then show time is the ceiling of my time. You can leave that one in there, doesn't hurt. Now when you see this one run, you'll see that even though the timer is still technically running at step event, it's not actually changing the value of the time. And so it should stop at zero. Perfect. And of course, then you'd probably want to trigger something to happen, right? Like if it did hit zero, maybe what you do is right in here, then you say uh, make game over stuff, right? You make the game proceed to its next state. Hope you like that. That's a good little uh, timer tutorial there. And hopefully you can use that in your game. If you want to see another video we have, which is Countdown Timer Advanced, I just link this to a little bar which shows you uh, the bar shrinking as the time runs out. Thanks for watching.